and welcome back to Idolize Makeup Tutorial Channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this missing jigsaw puzzle piece that's been cut out of my face. Not really, but I'll show you how to make it look like it has. So obviously this could be a really cool one for a Halloween party, and I know it's not anywhere near Halloween right now, but I like doing this sort of look all year round. And maybe you have some other event that you can wear it to before Halloween. And as you can see, I've paired this look just with pulling one side of my hair back. I think this is a really good idea if you're doing this look, otherwise you'll end up with hair sticking into the blood. And also, I've just done these nude lips with a little bit of dark in the middle. I'm not really sure why, I just felt like doing that with this look. So I'm going to show you how to do the lips first, and then we'll move on to the jigsaw puzzle piece. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm taking my Napoleon Perdice in the buff lip liner, and I'm lining the whole way around my lips, and also filling them in with that pencil as well. Then I'm using my Coquette lipstick from Lime Crime, and I don't know why I'm showing you the bottom, because it's really blurry and you can't read it, but I'm applying this color over my whole lips. Next, I'm taking my Napoleon Perdice Divine Goddess Noir Lipstick. I can't say that word, noir, noir. And I'm just applying this to the very center of my lips on the top and the bottom. And I'm applying a couple of layers until it's a little bit shadowy looking. Then I'm taking this black eyeshadow from Gorgeous Cosmetics and I'm just applying that over the top of that center lipstick just to make it nice and dark on the very center. I'm also just sort of spiking out the edges of that area as well using that black eyeshadow. Then I'm taking this cardboard jigsaw puzzle piece which I cut out myself as well as this red and this black face paint. And firstly we're just taking the red and we're going to apply that cardboard cutout somewhere on our cheek and then trace around the edges of it using that red face paint and a thin brush. Then we're going to take the piece of cardboard off and we're going to use a different brush and just our red face paint and fill in that whole area. Then we're using a mixture of our black and red face paints just to go around the edges and make it nice and dark. Now I'm taking my Dark Blood from Ben Nye and I'm using a Q-tip and going over that whole area of the jigsaw piece. Then I'm taking my Ben Nye Fresh Scab Blood and applying some chunky bits over the top of that Ben Nye Liquid Blood. Now I'm taking a concealer that's slightly lighter than my foundation colour, as well as one that's slightly darker. And first we're using the darker one and we're lining a thin line the whole way around the outside of the jigsaw piece. You want to make this maybe about 2mm away from the edges of the jigsaw piece. Once you've finished drawing the line, go ahead and feather it out using your brush and your fingers. Next we're taking our highlighting concealer colour on a very thin brush and we're going to go in between that dark concealer line and the jigsaw puzzle edge. You need to do this very carefully so that you don't end up with pink lines. And once you've finished lining the whole way around the jigsaw piece, you're then going to carefully feather out those edges as well. Once you've finished with the light concealer, we're taking our black and red face paint once again, mixing them together and then going around the outside of the jigsaw puzzle very carefully, just to give it a nice defined edge. Then we're taking our cardboard jigsaw piece once again and our normal foundation colour, and we're just going to paint one side of that jigsaw piece. And once we've painted that side, we're going to take our fake blood and paint the other side with blood. Okay, so here you can see our completed missing jigsaw puzzle piece special effects makeup tutorial. So I haven't done a special effects video like this for a little while, so if you guys enjoyed watching it and you want me to do more, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button right now if you would like updates on new videos, which I do twice a week, every single week. And I'm always happy to take requests from you guys if you have looks that you'd like to see. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Ah!